Hey guys, I'm here to read another bedtime story to you, and I think that you'll really love this one. I feel like I say that every time, but it's just because I love books so much. So when I was looking through the list of books that had been read already, I was so surprised that this one was not on the list. This is one of my very favorite books, and I think that you'll love it too. If you haven't read it, and I think that you'll love listening to it again if you already have. So tonight I'm going to share with you Where the Wild Things Are, Story and Pictures by Maurice Sendak. So Story and Pictures. So he is the author and the illustrator. Remember guys, the author writes the words and the illustrator draws the pictures. And in this book, it's pretty special because he does both. Where the Wild Things Are. Story and Pictures by Maurice Sendak The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another, his mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through night and day and in and out of weeks, and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars, and gnashed their terrible teeth, and rolled their terrible eyes, and showed their terrible claws till Max said, be still, and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were afraid and called him the most wild thing of all and made him king of all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up, we love you so. And Max said no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. All right, guys, I hope that you loved this book and I hope you have a very good night's sleep and that you're ready for school again tomorrow. Bye.